Hey guys, Redline here from Team Tiny Whoop. I'm here to show you how to create a six millimeter tiny whoop that can meow mode. And we're gonna do that by using the Inductrix FPV Plus flight controller. Things you're gonna need are the Inductrix FPV Plus. You can buy just the flight controller, I think from Tiny Whoop. I think they're gonna be around 60 bucks. And then you're gonna need a camera. And then I don't think it comes with the, the tail light when you buy the flight controller. So you're gonna want a tail light, of course, because who doesn't like more LEDs? The frame I like to use, the cockroach frame, very durable. Um, insane motors are good. You can use special sauce motors, but it doesn't meow mode throughout the whole battery. Um, if you use insanes or higher, it can do it throughout the whole battery. To make it happen, Throughout the whole battery, you gotta use the original canopies, uh, the original mullet mod canopies. It just has a flat back on it. It just makes the, the tiny whip lay flatter, um, which has a better chance of flipping over when it's flat. Um, you'd think it's when it's more tilted, like that, that it would flip over easier, but it's actually opposite. If it's the more flat it is, the better the chance it's gonna flip over. And with that canopy, it raises it off the ground a little bit, has it flat and it just flips over every time um, with insane motors. Other things you're gonna need is a 3D printed mount. I like the 30 degree mount. And you can get those from Tiny Whoop. Some LEDs of course, four of them, some props. Okay, so first thing you're gonna do is take off, there's two screws on top here. And then you can take off the camera. There's gonna be one plug underneath that you disconnect. And then there's two more screws on the bottom. You'll unscrew those. And then this little bar comes out. And then you can take the camera out of there. And then you'll have to watch because that antenna is on the top. Just push it through the little hole there. screws on here. Make sure you save all these screws by the way. And then you're going to disconnect the tail light that's on the back here. Just kind of rock it back and forth. It'll pop out. And then you can slide it out of its little holder there. And you want to keep that. Okay. So next thing you do is get the motors out. Um, the best way is just getting a little screwdriver and pushing from the backs of the motor um, connectors here you can push in and up and they should just pop right out when you want these grommets make sure you don't lose those so the next thing we're we'll doing is gonna take off this pigtail I still use this little camera connector, um, just easier, so you can just take out the camera real quick if you want to. Once you pull that heat shrink off of there, um, you can just get some dikes, just clip off at the very bottom here. Um, I think like the perfect amount is like if you grab a 205 battery, like just about that length is where I always cut my Real quick, just some places I like to place welder's glue, which you gotta give some of this. Put it on, I always use like the end of a zip tie or something. There's already a little bit on these, on these Inductrix Plus cameras, um, but you can still just throw a little bit on there, just the whole square part of that lens. And then get your canopy. 
I've done this one, but I'll just show you. I just make a circle around it. Um, if you get if you get it too far through or covering the hole, just grab a piece of wire or something and stick it through. That way you can get it through on the frame. Just do both sides of that, let that dry. Next thing we're gonna do is tin the flight controller and positive and negative pads, both sides. with this flight controller, unlike the other ones, the positive and negatives for the motors are backwards. When you're, you get your motors, you're going to want to swap the connections on this. So you're going to want, want the um, positive on the right side and then the negative on the left side. And when you put them in here, you're going to want the negative on the outside and the positive on the inside. So what you got to do is you just get um, an exacto knife or something pointy and you just lift up these little tabs here sometimes if you can't get it to go in don't try to force it in just grab like some pliers or something little uh, tweezers and just push them in there but swap it around just like that and you want to do all four of them all right, so the next thing we're gonna do is get these little LEDs off. There's four of them on here. Um, there's two little pads on there um, that we're gonna have to use a soldering iron to get them off. The best way is to use two soldering irons. So you get heat on both sides and they just pop right out of there. All right, so what you're gonna do is you're gonna get both your soldering irons, get them on both sides, heat up both sides of the pads, and the LED just falls right off of there. Right there is going to point to the negative pad, so negative, positive. Same with the other four here. You can see there, so there's the negative, there's the positive. So with the LEDs, I just grab, you get four LEDs, your favorite colors. I got some blue ones here. To know how much you need to cut off, because it comes with a ton of wire, um, I just put it along my pinky here, it's about three inches or so, and then cut it off. That usually gives you enough room to move wherever you need to along the ducts. Very small wires. Um, you're going to want an exacto knife. And you just trim just a little bit. I mean, if you look at the pads, they're really small. So you only need a little connection on there. Just kind of roll it around in your finger with the exacto knife. And then you should be able to get it with your nail and just kind of pull it off of there. So once you get it, all four of those and all eight wires trimmed like that, just add some solder to it. Just real quick, hold it there for a sec, and then let go. Okay, so grab your pigtail and your frame. Um, for these cockroach frames, my favorite place is to put the pigtail in through this gap right here. If you can see that. Um, and I always put it in through there and then solder it onto my flight controller. Um, a lot of people just put it through this middle part, but I feel like it always gets in the way of the battery, so when you're trying to slide them in and out, it's just kind of a pain. So this is just an easier spot. Put it in through there, and then we're going to solder onto the flight controller on the, on the bottom here. All right, so then you want to get your four little black rubber grommets here. Put them on the 
flight controller. Just push that down in. The little pegs there. Just watch where your LEDs are going. So they get smashed in there. What we're gonna do next is mount the LEDs onto the frame. I like to twist up the LEDs. Walter's glue on like a zip tie. And just place some in the corner here. Um, I like to do it right where the strut meets the frame. I'm just on the end there. Just put a little dab there. And then just with your finger, just kind of push it in into the welder's glue. And it takes a little while for it to dry. And that's why if you have like some hot glue too, you can always um, tack it down with some of that. Just do all four sides. So, just pull the slack on the LEDs and a little bit of hot glue. Just kind of run it down. The wires there. You could use welder's glue too. I'm just lazy and it dries a lot faster with this hot glue. I like it to stick almost all the way down to the edge of the frame there. We're going to put the motors in. Make sure um, that you have the wires in the right way. The black and white ones are going to be counterclockwise. The red and blue are going to be clockwise. So they turn inwards. You also want to make sure the black and white. Next, you can twist these motor wires if you want. You can plug them in. I use these little orthodontic bands that I bought from Amazon. Um, I get the three 16 inch ones, and I just put those over the motor wires here. The extra slack on the motor wires, I just tuck them underneath the frame. wire along with the strut. Get your tail light here. Plug that in. The amount of this is right on the very back. It's right on the edge of the frame, right in the back there. Okay, so just hold it right there with the and then just grab your hot glue gun and just kind of smear it around all over the LED back there. Throw some props on, like the Ishin props. Remember, they're going, the motor's going inwards um, towards the front and the back. So make sure you have your props on the right way. And you can kind of push, the Ishin ones are a little bit stubborn to get them in, so you kind of push a little hard to get them seated all the way. Wanted to show you how the camera works with the LEDs and what band and channel you're set up on. So there's going to be two lights on here, a blue one and then a red one on this other side. Uh, when the red one is solid, that means you're on channel one. Um, so that would make it to channel two if I hit it and the red light will go off. So you just kind of have to count as you swap. There's three LEDs over here and two on the bottom. When you hold it, that's going to switch. Um, what um, band you're on and it goes um, A, B, E, F, then R on the bottom. To get it to go to E channel the first time, um, you got to hold down this button for 8 seconds um, and that'll unlock the E channel. It should go solid, that means it's unlocked. Get the camera on, put it in the camera mount, just kind of slides right in there um, and then plug in the little pigtail thing is as far as this antenna goes some people mount them with them underneath the camera I like to keep it above so I just pull it up so it's out of the way and screw down the mount 
and if you're losing one of these screws, check your motors. <laughs> I had it many times where they're on the motor and I was looking forever for them. Throw the canopy on there. Okay, now to bind it to your controller, plug in a battery. It'll start flashing. Once it's flashing, then you just get your controller with it off still. Um, you're gonna push the bind button up top here, hold it down, and then turn it on. Um, keep the controller away from the tiny whoop. It just binds easier. Once it stops flashing, that means you're bound. One thing you wanna do is set up where you your meow mode is and your flying modes. I have a DX6 here. Um, to do that, um, you go down to system setup, hit yes, go down to channel assign, go to the next, and then on your gear, that's going to be your um, your uh, flying modes. So, I mean, angle, acro, I think it's altitude or something like that. Um, I have that on my G switch, which is going to be this top right here. You want it on a three-way switch because there's three different flying modes. For meow mode and arming and disarming, um, it's auxiliary one. I have that on my A switch. And that's going to be this one back here. Okay, real quick to change the tail light color, um, you hold up on both sticks. Uh, it'll start flashing. Okay, and then you press to the right to change through. To set it like that, you hold them down now, and then it will arm up. Disarm, just hit that switch up and down. Meow mode, when you're flipped over, you just push up and down a little bit, and it'll flip over. Um, and when you do crash, Motors are still going to be spinning, so you'll want to disarm real quick, that switch, and then in the camera you'll see these two blink and that means you're disarmed, and then hit that switch again, it'll flip over, and it's armed and ready to go. Bum 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 b